Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is the go-kart I've been working on for a while. Decided to turn it into a bit of a project, so we'll see how this goes. There's a few problems with it, because I kind of just patched it together. Brand new motor, 300cc motor, I know, I'm dumb, it doesn't need that much power, but I want to haul ass with this thing. Lawnmower tires, even smaller lawnmower tires, and my throttle cable currently hooked up in a very shady way is off of a bike that is the brake cable from one of my bikes <laughs> also the floor is wood yes and now I've decided I want to replace this crappy cable setup which is divided halfway in the middle I'm gonna replace part of it well, you kinda of can't see it but an unfolded coat hanger so I'm gonna have it right on there, bent over, and then feed back through this hole right here. And then I have this little piece here that's going to fit right on there, and I'm going to have a bit of a return spring. So when you pull it, when you press gas, it compresses like that, return spring will help pull it that way. So we'll see how that works. The other thing I need to replace with this brand new throttle cable, because I actually decided to put some money into this piece of crap, my brakes, which are currently that's it. There is no return spring yet. That's the return spring. Also, the brake is held on by one bolt. It's crappy. I've also got a centrifugal clutch in here, which was too weak, and I've already burned it to all to hell, covered in a ducting tin housing that my dad helped me make. That's going to get replaced. Seat. Probably not going to get replaced because I don't know where the heck to get a good one for cheap. But it's this shoddy old thing out of an old go-kart. We'll see how that works. The steering wheel is uh, some tubing, some pipe insulation, cut up into different pieces and wrapped around the steering wheel because this steering wheel gave me a really bad cut and an infection because it's rusty as hell and sharp. I also added a bumper because why not? with old pieces of crappy, crappy steel welded together absolutely horribly because I suck ass at welding. So yeah, I'm going to be back when I uh, finish straightening out that piece of closing, uh, closing uh, hanger. So, I worked on the throttle a bit, I tightened up the uh, little thing on there, and by the way, if you guys don't know this, you can get two springs from, uh, oh, I think I got them at Home Depot, 
Uh, I replaced, I think I had one on here, maybe. I don't even remember. Maybe not. But uh, I got two of them and replaced them there to hold it, to pull it as a return spring. And then you can loosen up this bolt here, this nut, and that'll help you, uh, it'll make it work back and forth easier and you won't have to worry about your uh, throttle sticking. Also, apparently I wouldn't know if a good throttle cable if it jumped out and bit me, because it did, and it hurt. Yeah, I ran it out to here, clipped it a bit, and then ran into this. I got this frame for free. It wasn't red, it was a horrible rusty color. I got it for free from my grandfather, sitting in the shed, and uh, it had its own throttle system on it with no cables. It ended at this block, but uh, this block here, you, it's got a drilled hole in each side, and I got throttle cable going in one side, and uh, clothes hanger going in the other. Originally, it had uh, a thicker rod, like you wouldn't bend it much, run it all the way over to here. But that's been lost to time. Even though I only, it's been like two months, it still got lost. Uh, and then I got this going in here, and just in case I need more of it, I just wrapped it around here. Um, and now, you can do this. And as you push the gas pedal, pulls that, and I've got to be able to return the spring there. So, even, even more return spring power, because sometimes these two springs just aren't enough. Yeah, now I think what I'm going to do is uh, probably start it up and see how it goes. Let's start her up. She didn't take that time. Oh, she's not taking the day. I just spent way longer than I care to admit friggin' yanking on the thing, and I forgot. In a video, I don't know, might come after this, might come before this, I added a kill switch. Right here. That right there is the off position. That's the position it's been in. For about 10 minutes of me yanking on this thing. So, let's flip that on and kick her over. And then I'll show you guys kind of how this works a little bit. Needs a little fine tuning so I can reach the high end, but in that, it's pretty darn good. I'm pretty satisfied with that. I think I'm going to probably do some fine tuning and then probably the next part of the video, or hell, it might be in the next video entirely, not sure. Uh, I'll probably do the torque converter next and maybe work on the brakes. See you then. I got her this time. Just listen to her purr now. Now I just gotta put that torque converter on and she'll be moving quite good. Also, I felt like I should explain why this didn't work. These centrifugal clutches, they're really meant for like a little tiny go-kart with, you know, small motor, very light frame, and you know, not a whole lot of capacity and not a very good, uh, not a very big axle sprocket. I've got a very sizable axle sprocket, as you can see. As compared to my hand, it's 
full length of my fingers, which is pretty, pretty good. And the tires aren't exactly light. They're not really meant for this. They're meant for, you know, lawnmower. Plus, this is all steel tubing or iron tubing. It's, it's not light. <laughs> Look at the side of it. It's, it's compared to my thumb. That's pretty, pretty sizable. It's a heavy piece of machinery. And plus, 300 cc motor. It's a bit much for it. It burns it out. First time I did it, I accidentally got my hand too close trying to figure out something with the chain and scalded the tip of my finger and I still don't really have any uh, fingerprints there. So yeah, I know. It's, so that's why I got a good old torque converter. I think it's rated up for 13 horsepower. This is, I think, 9 or 10 or something like that, maybe 8. Ah, I think it was 8, yeah. And that's, so, that torque converter ought to do it. Yeah, I just wanted to explain to you guys, in case you didn't know, why why I can't use that uh, clutch. Yeah, see ya. Time to try her out. Let's see how she starts up and goes.